Hey, Davey. Um, so we just heard that Mike has been signed to a multi-year extension. Um, so what, when did you hear that? And what, what's your overall reaction to that news? Yeah, he, he, I talked to him this morning. Um, I was ecstatic for Mike and his family. It's great news. Uh, you know, we have an unbelievable working relationship together and um, we bonded over the years. I mean, I'm so, uh, I'm elated for him, really, I am. I mean, he deserves it. He, you know, he built this organization. Uh, good for him, you know. Like I said, uh, it's just one unbelievable job he's done, you know, with this organization. And, he, you know, he goes down as a champion, so he, get, he gets more years to, to build this up again and do it again. And now uh, you, you obviously have an option for next season um, with the team. So now that that's over, does that make you think that, you know, attraction on your – on your future could pick up. Um, how does it sort of affect how you deal your um, think of your own situation? Yeah, you know, I, you know, it's, it, for me, it's, it's, I never really think about it, honestly. You know, okay. uh, you know, I know they're going to do the right thing. I, I do believe that. I, you know, I've, I've had a good relationship uh, with the Learner family. Um, they know how I feel about being here. I love it. I wouldn't want to go anywhere else. Uh, so, with that being said, you know, Mike and Mike and his deal. Um, could possibly open up the doors here um, fairly soon. So, uh, but like I said, today's about Mike uh, and about us going out there today and going one and another day. That's that's my focus right now. Thank you, Justin Camarado, Hobby.com. Hey, Davey, uh, can you walk us through what went through to the what? I can't talk today. What went through the decision with Carter and Defoe? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. We talked about him saying Carter down, he's doing well, wanted to bring him back up. Um, you know, we, we made the decision to uh, uh, designate Depot to bring, make room for Carter. Carter's going to play third base. I just talked to him. He's going to play third base for uh, the rest of this year. Um, we got to see, what, you know, what we got and want him to play. Uh, I told him, I said, you know, you're back somewhere in the middle of the lineup. Uh, so, you know, just go out there, have fun, and, and do your thing. I mean, but we got to see what he can do, you know, this – Perfect opportunity for him to go out there and, uh, and play every day and, and uh, see what he's got. What are you hoping to see out of him in these remaining regular season games? I just want, I, like, you know, like I tell all the players, I just want, want him to be himself and go out there and have fun. Um, just do the little things, you know. Um, be a good base runner, you know, drive, you know, get a chance to drive and run, just put, move the baseball and play good defense. I mean, those are the three things I expect from him. He understands that. He's been told before, so. Um, hopefully, you know, he comes up and he's, he's ready. I know he's been swinging about better, so uh, we'll, we'll see today. He's going to get an opportunity to play today and play out the rest of the year until he tells me he can't. <laughs> Mark Zuckerman, MassesForce.com. Hey, Davey, what are the updates on uh, Soto and Harrison? Did those guys have any uh, impact on the decision to, to get keep them up here? Did you? Um, you know, need a, another healthy bat because of those. Yeah, I, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, Soto's, you know, he, he's going to be day to day. He feels a little bit better today. Um, Harrison's a little beat up. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's sore. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can get him ready for the game. And maybe if he could pinch it or something like that, it'd be great. Um, but he got hit pretty good, you know, and uh, he's pretty sore today. So he'll be day to day as well. Eden, same thing with Eden, you know. Um, he's going out there today. He's going to test in the out a little bit. Um, we'll see where he's at uh, after he comes back in today. Uh, and just back to the uh, bigger story with you and Mike, um, I, you, you talk about how you don't worry about it and, and you know, they're going to do the right thing. Um, is part of that knowing deep down that even though they may take their time making these decisions, they always have retained Mike and obviously they did uh, and just kind of, having been around now a while, sensing how this, how they tend to work, is that part of what gives you confidence that, um, you know, that you don't really need to worry about your status? Yeah, you know, for, for me, it's, it's you, you build these relationships, you know, throughout this organization. Um, and I, like I said, I have a good relationship with the learners, with the learners, with Alan Gottlieb, with all, all the people in the front office, and especially with Mike. I mean, Mike and I are really, really close. Um, as I told you before, I speak to, him probably five or six times a day. You know, he sits in my office, you know, with me throughout the day. And um, we can talk virtually about anything. So it's a good, it's a great relationship. Um, 
you know, and I, I, hope, I owe him a lot. You know, he's the first, first guy to give me an opportunity to manage in the big leagues. Uh, and I, I appreciate that very much. And we won a championship together, you know, so all these things to me ma matter. So at the end of the day, all I want to do is come and do my job. And that's, that's manage this team and uh, hopefully put up as many W's as possibly can. Todd Davis, NBC Sports Washington. <laughs> hey, Davey. Um, when did you become comfortable working on a contract under the terms of a contract, right? Like most nine to five people work full time and they just have their job and just that's how it is. And if you're under a contract, there's actually an end of the line. Um, and there's always a tick, tick, tick toward the end of the line. Uh, so as a player or in this position, like how did you become comfortable in that environment? Was it uncomfortable at first to know oh, this might just end, and then now I don't have a job, and I, I need to be able to rationalize that. You know, for, it's funny. For me, the, the only uncomfortable part of everything is, is, is talking about the contracts going into getting a contract. Once you have the contract, for me, it's just, hey, you, I can only control the control. You know, I, I do my job the best I can, um, even as a player. You know, you play, and you, all of a sudden you get your contract ends one year, and uh, you, you become a free agent. Well, you don't work, you know, for me, I don't worry about that, you know. Uh, I just worry about doing my job and tell myself, hey, you know what? If, if it doesn't happen to work out here, you know, as long as I have a big league uniform somewhere, you know, we'll, we'll make it work. Um, but I try not to worry about those things. I try to focus on, uh, on, on the here and now. I mean, that's, I've always been that way. Um, if I started worrying about my contracts as a player, I probably would have been a mess. <laughs> really, you know, and so I just focus on how, how to help how to help the team win. It's like it's like I do right now. I mean, I don't I don't worry about you know the business side of this. I know we got great people that run this organization, uh, great family. So uh, they mean a lot to me, and and they know that. So you know, like I said, Mike Mike is done. So you know, mine should be coming around the corner here soon. So you know, um, we'll see what happens. Do, does your family and friends understand that? Are they texting you being like, why don't they pick up your option? What is taking so long here? Or you've just been in baseball so long, they get out how all this works. Yeah, you might, you know, my kids are, you know, my kids always, you know, they, they don't bring it up and they say, dad, I, you know, as always, you know, do, everything works out for a reason. I said, that's right. You know, just and when, I, when my friends and stuff ask me, I just brush it off and go to something else. <laughs> Talk about that. <laughs> Easy enough. Yeah. <clears throat> Other questions for Davey? <clears throat> All right. Thanks. Oh, sorry, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Jesse Docker, you Washington Post. Hey, sorry about that. Um, Davey, you, you guys pretty much, you called Carter up like right on the 10th day you could have. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he was just yeah. down for 10 days. Yeah. Um, so was this always the plan? Like it, it, it seems like, was it always kind of a 10-day period or did he have to show something? No, we, 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 you know, uh, you know when, I, when I told him, I said, go, we want him to go down there and work on a swing. Uh, and if we deem he was ready in 10 days, we bring him back up. So okay. what happens is that, you know, he, he started hitting the ball really well. And uh, it worked out that, you know, like you said, this was the 10th day. And we were able to get, get him back up here. And uh, we need his bat in the lineup. So um, it's good for him that he went down there and worked hard uh, to, get, to get back. You know, we felt like, he, you know, he, he worked on some things in his swing. So... Um, we know he can hit and we know he can play. I mean, so, you know, he's 22 years old. He's, he's one of our top prospects. So he's going to get the opportunity to play, play in, hopefully help us win some games. And you, you gauging his swing, is that you talking to hitting coaches, Randy, or, is, or do, are you actually watching film of him down there as well? I've, se I've seen some film of him hitting his at-bats. I talked to Randy Knorr, um, who's down there with him. Okay. Um, thought back, you know, has relayed messages, you know, through emails and stuff. So, um, yeah, they said, you know, the, the biggest thing was getting them ready to hit fastballs. Uh, they did that with him. They worked with him. So, um, hopefully he's, you know, he can come up here and, and he just continues to do what he did down there. And that's exactly what I told him. I said, hey, whatever you did down there, nothing changes. Just, you know, come up here and do the same thing. And just go out there and, like I said, have fun.